Hi, right, welcome back to Dishonored. Uh, my hands are clean, shadow or ghost, and mostly flesh and steel uh, playthrough. Uh, all thanks to the Red Dragon Guide. Alright, so our objective is to el eliminate Overseer. And I'm gonna jump down into the water, because there is a bunch of guards there. Well, actually, there is only one guard, but I don't want to deal with him. So this is the best way. Uh, the one about civilians, they don't really give a shit what you, about who you are or what you do. You can just kill people in front of them. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be alerted or anything. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is make our way into the city, out of this <laughs> beach, or whatever that is. Alright, we're gonna go to the right, and there's a actually granny rags on the right. Uh, she gives you optional missions. You might wanna do them if you're gonna go for the art dealer, because the last art piece uh, or picture by Sokolov can be only acquired if you do all the side missions for Granny Rags and uh, S uh, Skag, I believe his name. Or Slagjaw, something like that. I've been playing Borderlands too. <laughs> Skags. Anyway, we're gonna go to the right over here and jump onto the roof. To the left, there is another optional mission when you kill uh, two bandits um, from distillery. The vendor will open up shop for you, you can buy stuff, but I'm not gonna go for it. We don't really need anything since we're going for mostly flesh and steel. That requires no upgrades and no um, no spells, none of that. Uh, only thing I'm using is blink since it comes with, uh, with the game from the beginning. Alright, so I'm gonna go on the roof. I know Red Dragon went through the alleys over there, but I found a safer way if you go through the roofs. And we're gonna make our way down right there. And like I said, there's a lot of ways to approach the target. Just um, explore, see what you can do. There's a whole lot of unique ways to eliminate it eliminate your targets. Alright, so I'm gonna climb up the pipes right here and I'm gonna make uh, my way to the next level. And we're back on the roof, we're almost there. Alright, there's a couple of guards there but I'm not worried about it. I'm just looking for some alternatives but it doesn't look like there is any. Alright, there is a guard over there to be honest with you, you can just uh, teleport right behind him, behind this uh, wall or boxes, while my, my lock is walking away, so I'm just going to teleport down, and I'm home free for the door. Make sure you don't run. I ran here one time and I messed it up. Uh, here we go, next level. I'm going to the higher square. Uh, this is a little cutscene event. Hello. I, hear the second day is when this I have to eliminate this guy by is not killing, true? just or is it the choke him. <laughs> Here we go. And for my own safety, I'm gonna hide him. Psst, I don't it's know me. where to hide him though. Maybe throw him on the roof or something. I'm just gonna hide him over here. Be careful throwing bodies around are unconscious, it can kill him. Happened to me a few times. Alright, let's free this guy. Feels good to stand up straight. Thank you, Corvo. I wonder what happens if you don't what save him. What we're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerner. And word from my informant. By the way, Kerner, we need to point. save him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Or spare him so he doesn't die. Alright, right, so we're after something something the Campbell. So I'll make my own way back to the hound's It's pretty easy to get there. If I see Samuel guide you, may our enemy's head hit the floor Alright, so I'm gonna teleport over here on top of the ventilation shafts. There are a couple of guards over here. And I'm gonna make my way quick across the whole street while they're talking. So it's gonna be fast, which I'm not doing, I'm just like chilling. Here we go. Oh, I got a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Uh, there's a guard over there. 
Uh, wait for him to path and then teleport on top of those pipes or whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Like a little pillars. Uh, he's walking away and quickly make my way across. Here we go. Alright, climb up on top of this booth. There's an easy way actually, if you uh, teleport on top of the lamp, you can teleport on the ledge of that building, but I didn't do it. I went for the hard way. Alright, once we're on top, I'm gonna jump down and teleport across. And once I'm here, I'm going to wait just a little bit. There's one guy, he's going to be pathing, and he, uh, he's going to exit that gate, front gate. Once he exits that, I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm sure there is a faster way. But I'm just going to wait a little bit. God damn it, where is he? Why he's not coming? Alright, you know what? Screw this, I'm just gonna go for it. It's a little tricky here. You can mess up a couple of times, just make sure you save before you go. Because there is two guards over there talking. Alright, I'm just gonna make for it. Alright, there you go. Sweet. Alright. By the way, every time you reload a level, the paths of guards can be different, so watch out for that. But general idea should be the same. Alright, and we're gonna go right through the front door. Wait for that guy. Alright, perfect. Now we're gonna go through the front door. I had to cut here because I messed up over here on the stairs. There is a guard that pathing and he saw me. So I had to reload the game and... Uh, Try it again. Alright, there he is. Once he walks away, I'm gonna break through. Now there he goes. Where is he going? Oh, okay. I guess we have to wait more. Yeah, there's a lot of patience in this game, which I don't mind. I like sneaky stealth games. Actually, most of the games that I play are stealth and sneaky games. My other favorite game was DSX. That was pretty good. You can complete the entire game without killing anybody or being detected. All right, so we're going to go to the right over here in the room. There's another guard pathing on the stairs. Uh, let me see if I can find him. Oh, he's, I think he's on top of there looking at the picture, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna make my way fast on top of the door. There's a hole on top of the door that I can chill on. Yeah, there you go. And there's another guard that's patrolling these corridors. He just uh, stares at the pictures and whatnot, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna jump down. Okay, on top over here, there's um, our main objective target. Uh, we're not gonna go for it yet. First, I want to grab the note where the, uh, Emily location is. So I'm gonna f go further down into the library. The last night. While they're Six talking over there, not passing in the library, I'm gonna jump down and uh, grab the note. The uh, there is. That's part of the optional objective. Uh, now we're gonna make our way back to the, the meeting room where we're gonna see the. I couldn't find Campbell? No, not Campbell. I don't know. Overseer Campbell, I believe. So I'm gonna go into the chambers. And there's a poison. And go ahead, spill the poison. I'll break the glasses. And make your way back on top. And wait. Once you hear the clock bell go off, 
that means they're gonna start walking over here and once the overseer Campbell sees that the drink's been spilled he's gonna say that okay so I have another way to eliminate you and he's gonna take him all the way to the basement to his secret room and that's where I'm gonna meet him all right here we go there's a clock bell and I'm gonna make my way to the secret room of overseer Campbell so I'm just gonna go there I wanna be ahead of them there's a guard over there I'm just gonna pass him while he's not looking and once you're downstairs you see there's a door to the right that's where the basement is that's where his secret room is alright make sure you close all the doors behind you I don't know if it matters if you close or not doors I don't know if they kinda like notice it that somebody was here alright so this is the secret room and there's a statue over there with the button that opens the door Alright, so I cut the video over here. I'm waiting for them to go inside. Do not uh, choke the Overseer Campbell until they're in the room. Because the other guy that we're trying to save will uh, notice you and attack you. And we don't want that. Because that will count against uh, being detected. Now just follow him. Don't worry about it. They never look back. Okay. Once inside, I'm gonna teleport on top of those boxes and wait for them. Ah, you see this painting? Believed to be early Sokolov. Something All right. Once the, the, the other guy looking at the painting, wait for him hand. to attack him. If you say so, Campbell. Well, not you attack him, but prepare to attack. Give me a good Once he approaches him, just choke him out. And you're good to go. There you go. This way, the other guy won't notice. I uh, won't attack you or detect you. All right. So since we're playing uh, clean hands, we cannot kill our main target because that will count against it. Even though mission says we have to assassinate him, instead we're gonna take his body back upstairs into the interrogation room, I believe. Alright, I'm gonna make my way out. Alright, I'm gonna park my character here and save. Wait for the other guy to leave. Because he has two guards that will follow him, and if they notice you, they will attack you. Oh shoot, there's a. <laughs> well, that was lucky. That was weird, he just like walked by. Alright, he, once he leaves, he's gonna start running. Yep. And he should have two guards running with him anytime soon. Yeah, there you go. One and two. Alright, perfect. Once they're gone, now you're clear to go. Now I just need to avoid this guard over there passing. So I'm gonna probably wait. Maybe cut the video here. Wait for the perfect moment. There you go. Alright, once he walks away, now it's perfect time to go back upstairs. That guy gonna go back up, stare at the picture again. Oh damn, those doors are open, it's not good. Well, it actually doesn't really matter. I'm Alright, I'm gonna teleport back on top of the door and make my way to the execution chamber. I don't know, is it execution chamber or interrogation room? But anyway. I remember there was another guard here looking at the pictures. I don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is. Ah, he's walking the other way. Okay. Yeah, he's away. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna teleport back on top and go to the room that we're after. I'm gonna go through the library. This is the safest way to do so. Because when you're on top of the bookshelves, nobody can see you. I'm trying to aim it. It's pretty hard to aim with the teleport. So, it's, there you go. Oh no, I failed. Oh well. Let's get back up. You see, it's kind of weird to aim. Alright. I'm taking my time. I want to be make sure to be safe. Nobody's around. 
and right here I'm gonna try to teleport inside the room or the chamber that we're after and it's kinda weird my um, right here my teleport aiming is like goes all over the place like as you can see it's like Look skipping shot. all over we the place so because I'm trying to get on top of that door and I won't do it just keep keep skipping so I just teleport inside the room I'm gonna get in on top I'm gonna cut the video here what I basically did is uh, there are three guards that passing through this room and I didn't have any time to do my objective so what I did I, I took them out there's a couple of guards over here you'll see I took him out, choke him down, and then I proceed with the mission. They're gonna go through the door and just pass around. Alright, so I'm gonna close the door. Place Campbell over here. And we're gonna go on top of this gate. Or through that gate. To pick up uh, some kind of a stick, I don't know. We're basically gonna burn his face. For some reason, I don't know how's that considered to be assassination. Anyway, grab that stick. God damn it. And we're gonna complete the mission really quickly. There we go. Basically, we. I, I think it's like we're marking him for execution. I'm not sure, but yep, that considered to be as neutralized target. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna make my way back to the boat and get the hell out of here. That's the one thing that I don't like <laughs> or hate is make my way back. But this shouldn't be too bad on this level. We're gonna go back on the first level, uh, I mean first floor where the building entrance is. I'm gonna wait for that guy to pass around. And there it is. I'm gonna teleport down. And that was kind of a leggy over there. Slow mo teleport teleportation. Oh, don't forget there is a guard over here. Be careful, there he is. Alright. I'm gonna wait for him. More waiting as usual. That's what this game all about. Waiting. I can hear a uh, totem or whatever they are. Those little upgrades, I can hear it somewhere near me. But I don't really need them since I'm not using any upgrades for my character. And he's kind of like walking in circles. Alright, once he walks away, all I have to do is uh, teleport to that door that leads to the backyard. And from there, it's home free. And thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for Red Dragon for such a wonderful guide. It helped me a lot. And I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. What the hell was that? This thing just fell. That's weird. Anyway. Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go.